Our home is located in the vast universe. The earth has a circumference of about 40,000 kilometers. There are so many places on the earth. How is it possible to precisely locate any one of them? For instance, what if I wanted to tell a friend the exact location of the Taj Mahal? It would be hard to describe. But give him the coordinates of the Taj and he should be able to find it easily. The parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude form an invisible grid over the surface of the earth which helps us to determine exact locations based on the grid reference. Now, let us understand what are latitudes and longitudes. Latitudes The horizontal lines running from east to west are called latitudes. These latitudes run parallel to each other and the equator. The line running at the center and exactly between the north and south pole is called the zero degree latitude or the equator. The Tropic of Cancer lies at 23 and a half degrees north of the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn lies at 23 and a half degrees south of the equator. The Arctic Circle lies at 66 and a half degrees north of equator whereas the Antarctic Circle lies at 66 and a half degrees south of the equator. Longitudes The vertical lines running from north to south pole are called longitudes or meridians. These lines are not parallel to each other and are only half circles. They all are of same length and meet at the poles. The zero degree line of the longitude passes through the town of Greenwich in England and is called the Greenwich Meridian or the Prime Meridian. The part of the earth that lies east of the Prime Meridian is called the Eastern Hemisphere and the half to the west is called the Western Hemisphere. The longitudes to the east of the Prime Meridian are marked E and longitudes to the west are marked W. There are 180 degrees of east longitude and 180 degrees of west longitude. Latitudes and longitudes help us to locate the places precisely. If we look at a map of any place, we will see that the lines of latitude and longitude keep intersecting each other and form a grid. To locate a place, we must know the longitude and latitude of that particular place. Then, by just following the two lines, we will be able to locate the place where they cross. It is called the grid reference of a place. Having understood what are latitudes and longitudes, now let us understand how these are actually measured. Latitude of any place is the angle made by the line joining the center of the earth and the concerned place with the equatorial plane. If a certain place P in the northern latitude makes an angle of 45 degrees, then we write it as 45 degrees north. The longitude of a place is the angle between the Greenwich meridian and the meridian that passes through the point located on the place concerned. In the figure, the point L in the Western Hemisphere makes an angle of 90 degrees with the Prime Meridian and we write it as 90 de degrees West. Where is 0, 0? The origin point 0, 0 is where the equator intersects the Prime Meridian. It is off the western coast of Africa in the Atlantic Ocean. Let us locate New Delhi on a map with the help of its coordinates. Moving 28 degree 61 minutes north of the equator and 77 degree 23 minutes east of the prime meridian, we would be able to locate New Delhi. Similarly, what would be the latitude and longitude values of Brasilia, the capital of Brazil? It is 15 degree 48 minutes south and 47 degree 54 minutes 